Hi everybody! Today we're going to learn about subtraction facts. So let's look at our problem. Let's say we had 4 minus 1. So let's say I had 4 stars. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I want to take away 1. 4, take away 1. So I take 1 away. Now I have 1, 2, 3 stars left. So 4 minus 1 equals 3. What if we had 4 minus 3? I have 1, 2, 3, 4 apples. And I want to take away 3. So 1, 2, 3. And now I only have 1 apple left. So 4 minus 3 equals 1. So as you can see, when you're doing subtraction problems, you can flip these two numbers, and the problem remains true. As you can see here, we have 4 minus 1 equals 3, and that's correct. And then, if we flip these two, so 4 minus 3 equals 1, that's also correct. So let's try another problem. Let's say we had 5 minus 2. So let's say I had five ducks. One, two, three, four, five. And we have five take away two. So I want to take two away from five. So go one, two. And now I only have one, two, three ducks left. So five minus two equals three. But what if I had 5 minus 3? Well, I have 5 turtles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I want to take away 3 from 5. So I take away 1, 2, 3. And now I have 1, 2 turtles left. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. So again, we see that if we flip these two numbers, the problem remains true. So 5 minus 2 equals 3, and we flip these, so 5 minus 3 equals 2. And both of these problems are true. No, and both of these statements are true. Let's try one more problem. Let's say we had 6 minus 4. So let's say I had six butterflies. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I want to take away four of them. So I take away one, two, three, four. And now I have one, two butterflies left. So six minus four equals two. But what if I had 6 minus 2? Can you tell me what this must equal? Yeah, it equals 4. Because all I did was flip these two numbers. So, if we have 6 minus 2, the answer must equal 4. Just remember, you can flip the number you're taking away and your answer, and the statement remains true.